Listen, guys. There's two kinds of people in life. Either you're the Vikings, or you get Vikinged. And unfortunately for us, <laughs> in this game, Sea Survival, we <laughs> are those who get Vikinged. Many times we play video games and there's about siege warfare, castles, all of that fun stuff. But when have you ever gotten to see what it's like on the inside of the fortress that is being sieged? What's it like being in that castle? Well, if you're outside the castle like this poor dude, you know, you're not gonna have a good time. So yes, we're gonna answer that question today. What is it like? to be inside of a castle during a siege. And I want to say a big shout out and thank you to our sponsor, Siege Survival, for sponsoring this video. And make sure to check out the game for yourself using the link in the video description below. The sixth day of summer, the year 1205, Kingdom of Medland. Is this voice terribly annoying? Cause it's kind of funny to try. Yeah, so the Vikings are known as the Ismeers. And this is kind of fun. During the introduction, we sort of get to like make a few choices. The town guard fought bravely, but the Ismirs were too many. Which one are we going to protect? The fleeing citizens or salvage supplies? I'm going to go with fleeing citizens. Hopefully we get a few more people inside of our keep. If we chose the supplies, well, we would have had more supplies in our castle. So our choices here actually impact the game we're about to play. Ugh. You, you, you know that's never a right thing to say. Things couldn't get any worse until they got worse. What did, what did we do? Did the barracks get destroyed? Are we, we're gonna glimpse a monstrous figure. Mr. Deer Antler Man himself. The Bastion must hold. Look at that, that's a beautiful picture, yeah. They landed, they pillaged us. Unfortunately, we couldn't set up the uh, pillboxes in the MG42s covering the landings. I mean, <laughs> we didn't even have any machine guns, okay. So here we go. Look at this. In the upper right, we have a day-night cycle. Oh my gosh, we have plenty of supplies. All right, you, start gathering resources. You, gather all of the resources you can find. Who is this dude? He's the soldier. But basically, everything that we're gonna be seeing here, we can interact with. We got a few little pigs, we got a few little chickens over here. We want our people gathering as many resources because we're gonna wanna get to some crafting. But the soldier standing before us is covered in blood. All right, so he's gonna give us some tasks. Hey, we've got these bows, but we ain't got any arrows. Hurry, all our lives depend on you. He's like, e e all of our lives depend on you. I'm gonna go back to standing guard. Where's th where'd that weird Australian accent come from? I don't know. Maybe he's heat exhaustion. Maybe he's, you know, got an extra ration of wine. Who knows? But we're gonna be gathering resources and then we are going to be crafting. All right, you get on over here and after you're done, Ooh, look, we found some eggs. We're gonna go to this storehouse here and we're gonna create a crafting table. Cause right now we picked up some eggs. We picked up some clean potable water and we are gonna create a stump with a sawhorse. This is gonna help us convert wood into other crafting materials. No punching trees are necessary here. However, we do have another consideration. You see this yellow zone? Well, it's a freaking siege, guys. Outside of our walls. Look at it, over here. Where are they? The freaking Viking boys are there. You know, they, they got their death metal playing and they're like drinking blood out of skulls. All that kind of crazy stuff. And I know it sounds fun. We want to join them, but we can't. We're the guys they're trying to kill. So what we're going to do is set this up. But yeah, needs to say yellow is where their trebuchets and catapults and flame arrows can reach in this blue little zone. Oh, this is nice. This is ours. So we're going to build that. We're going to take all the resources we can so that basically once we have this, we're going to be able to use all of our wood that we have collected. And needless to say, this is the Bastion. You see this? This is the balance of power and we can influence it during what we do during the day and what we do at night. During the day, we craft, we build, and at night, we scavenge and we sneak and we stealth around because there are guards. We're going to basically break out. Sneak out, I guess, is more appropriate. During the night to salvage for resources. So we got Muriel, who's got fast hands. I guess that's pretty good. I'm sure Bertram might be pleased with that. And Bertram, you're good with fighting and building. So that's why we got Bertram building. And she's fast, so you know what? Gather all those resources. This is pretty cool. This seems like a pretty good balance of power, right? Okay, so look at this. We can craft from wood. We can make firewood, planks, 
and other firewood. Well, firewood in different amounts. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. This is firewood from planks, and this is firewood from logs. Excellent. All right, so let's see. We're gonna we're gonna go over here and check out what we can build next, so that we can determine what do we need to do with our initial supply of wood. Now, while this is all going on, we do have the day night cycle going on. Let's build a workbench. We'll put that in the safe zone as well. We're gonna put most of our initial buildings over here. All right, are we collected most of the resources we have? Now we have three little piggies and we have a lot of chickens. Now we're gonna have to keep them fed, which is really unfortunate. So we're gonna need, let's go ahead, search the city at night for arrows. But yeah, basically once nighttime comes, we get the choice of who stays in and who needs to leave. Okay, it looks like we need wood to build this bed. We only have one because we have a lot of firewood, unfortunately. We're gonna wanna craft two beds. And look at this, this is our inventory that we have so far. Fodder, very nutritious for animals, barely edible for people how does one make fodder let's go to the pantry and actually can we make fodder here let's see if we can't make it here i need to learn how to make that no it doesn't look like we can there's something about rats and you can upgrade but you're gonna need a lot of uh materials we've got rotten food oh but we can make animal fodder out of rotten food that's fantastic that's what we'll have to use and we got torches we got some fertilizer if we can ever craft you know, some agricultural goods. I guess one thing you could do is start rummaging over here. There's this weird thing and you don't really know what you're gonna get out of it. Just kind of like luck of the draw. But you know what, I'm feeling a little bit lucky. All right, what can I make here? I can make a torch. I can't make any tools. I can make arrows, but in order to do that, we need to find iron bars. Yeah, if, we, if we're if we searching the city at night for them, right? So we'll speed up the timeline a little bit. We need a fireplace to cook meats. You know what we do, don't we? What do we need for that? I think just more wood, unfortunately. Actually, we need more materials. Stone, clay, and pieces of iron. Okay. So in the early days, we don't have to worry about attacks. And I'm wondering how we're gonna repair all this. Like, can I put animals over here like attack dogs? It definitely looks like as we go, things are going to be improving. Okay, so they're hungry. Let's check on the chickens. Now the chickens will lay eggs, which we can cook. And the pigs produce fertilizer. And if we want to, we can kill them. So they're hungry too. Well, I guess we could feed the pigs some rotten food. Actually, we want fodder because rotten food. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we'll feed that. So it looks like tonight we're gonna really be in search of some wood. Ooh, it looks like we can smelt some iron bars, which will be good for supplying the soldiers who are gonna be defending this castle with weaponry. What do we get from rummaging? Hey, a makeshift bandage, cool. Now as our first day comes to an end, this is where we get to make a pretty key decision. Oh, and look at that, we got some cloth from the rummage, a successful rummaging, might I add. Now here's the thing, Muriel is really good at collecting things, and he's really good at fighting and building. So we're gonna need him during the day, and Muriel, you're gonna scavenge the city, and Bertram, you're gonna sleep on the ground because we didn't have enough wood to craft. Okay, so it looks like we get to go these are inactive passages. I would imagine that we're gonna be able to unlock them as we explore more and more of the city. Here's our castle up here. Apparently our little secret path leads us into the craftsman district. The first time I played this in warm up, we actually spawned in here in the golden corner. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. So it's time to start scavenging. Muriel, please don't die. Everybody's lives depend on it. So this is the craftsman district. It looks like we need a porch Excuse me, we need a torch to burn this body in order to get up there. And as we explore, we need to be somewhat stealthy. Okay. So we're gonna gather some resources. Oh my gosh, there's ample resources all around here. Being in the craftsman district is definitely pretty nice. We wanna gather everything we can because look at this in the upper right. The day-night cycle is here again. And once it starts getting daylight, we're gonna be A, easier to be seen. Oh, what's this? And B, enemy guards will start actively patrolling. You found the Bowyer's workshop. Ooh, let's get some arrows. Uh-oh. We found some arrows under a broken roof beam. I'm gonna grab them, but it looks like the roof beam fell on us, so we're a little bit injured. We're gonna have to make use of some medicine. Oh, and we found, uh, we could take her axe, basically. You know what? We're gonna help her bury the corpse. A small sack. Oh, nice. And in that small sack, we found some arrows, and we found some valuables. We will take those. And look at that, see this? Hide here. Yeah, there are patrols. Ooh, this is gonna be vegetables. We should be able to get some seeds from this. But at the very least, we'll get some food. 
Oh, two vegetables. Heck yeah. Nah, so we're bleeding, unfortunately. But look, when I when I run, we create a bigger like sound wave around us. And so if there were guards in the air, they'd be like, Hey, what you doing over there, little lassie? You stealing things? You know, and they'd be like, and then we'd have to like run from them, hide from them. Maybe we'll get to fight them. All right, how's my inventory? My inventory is actually like pretty much full. So what we can do, since we got a little bit of time, is we can go exploring a little bit. We want to see where the guard patrols are, and there's just tons of resources. Oh, what was that? No, that's just fire. So we'll be sneaking around. It looks like we got a cudgel or maybe a mace or something. Let's hide. Hello! You can't see me! And we're going to see if there's any, like, obstacles, but these barrels are great sources of water. Oh, there's a... We are entering Cheapside. Yeah, see this? Look, you need a shovel to remove this obstacle in order to get there. Now, where are we on the map? Okay, we're here. And this is our entrance point. There's an event up here at this gatehouse. And you can see how these paths are blocked, right? So essentially, I can basically just search this area until unlocking these with a shovel. So we either have to find one or craft one. But you know what? Let's run back home because we can't really carry much more. And it's time to start a new day. So one of the first things we need to do is see about building some beds. And our inventory is nice and stocked. We only have three pieces of wood. We'll probably need planks, so you know what? You're a crafty guy. Get on over there and get ready because we're gonna find out beds. Oh, I can actually craft one bed right now. Do we want the bed first? Or do we want, no, we probably need to get food. Also, we can deliver supplies to the Bastion. Oh, I need just, I need more, dang it. That's not ideal. I still cannot craft a fire yet. So my pigs are hungry again. I've got some rotten food. It doesn't do a whole lot. Maybe we can find some stuff in the rummaging. Pigs are hungry. The hens have not produced eggs yet. They're hungry too, and we should probably feed them some herbs. So we feed them a little bit. Sorry guys, I mean, we were kind of short on food, you know? And let's actually deliver our arrows that we found to the Bastion. So this is the Bastion, the castle that's going to be defending us. We can only see a bit of it. We can't get up on the walls yet, but it looks like we might be able to repair this trebuchet in the future. I could craft a torch. What does a shovel require? We need to upgrade this building in order to get one. Oh, you know what we do need is to craft a makeshift bandage because Muriel is wounded. So she's been bandaged. She's kind of tired because she didn't really sleep much over the night. Yeah, we need a fireplace to cook meals indeed. So he's thirsty, we'll give him some water. Got green herbs, we got eggs, and we got fresh vegetables. Oh look, the eggs just produced, excuse me, the hens produced eggs, not the eggs produced hens, although technically that would be true. And since we can't eat all the eggs, what we can do is feed them to these guys. Oh wow, they, they don't give much food at all, do they? Let's see, what did the pigs give us? Fertilizer. All right, night has come. Muriel's gonna sleep on the ground. She's very tired, thirsty, and still lightly wounded, but she will be healed. And we'll take Bertram out now. Now, I am gonna keep a torch with me just in case there's bodies that need to be burned. There were bodies, right? Pretty close to us, actually. So we'll definitely want that. Yeah, there was a body, like, right up here. Oh, yeah, so we'll burn that, and that'll actually open up access to here. So it takes a little bit of time. We'll explore a little bit over here. Looks like we can get up. Ooh. Maybe that'll give us access to a different part of the city? Ooh, we're, like, up on the ramparts here. Where are we? Ooh, we're looking down at Lowtown. It is definitely a town, and it is lower, so I guess that's Lowtown. Ooh, there we go. That was... Some rotten food, which we can turn to fodder. I don't think there's any guards up here. Now, what is this crane good for? It's gotta be used for something in the future. Ooh, more corpses. They're basically acting as a barrier. That would have been the one we wanted to clean out. Let's see, do I still have a torch? I do not. We'll have to find one or craft one. Ooh, and that's actually our first look at a guard, but he's a little bit further away. Oh, are you gonna patrol up here? Please don't. I'm up here, and uh, I don't wanna die. <laughs> We got a lot of bad water. Ooh, there's a dead corpse. Maybe he'll have a weapon or a shovel or maybe some gold at the very least on him. Oh, we found a rusty key. That has to be good for something. All right, it looks like I can go down here, but we gotta be mindful that there's someone on patrol. Oh, oh, hold on. Looks like you can see their little search bar. So as long as we stay out of it. Ooh, that was kind of close. We can hide there. Another barrier that we need to shovel. There's a lot of barriers. And we're over here, actually. Oh, God. Oh, wow. If I want to get home, I actually have to go back through this... Over this wall. We'll probably head that way now. Oh, there's someone on patrol. Oh, wait. I'll get rid of all the dirty water and take the iron bar. Oh, run. Run, the guards are here. Oh, God. 
Oh god, that was kind of kind of scary. We can hide there if we want. Can I go through this gate? No, I gotta go around it. All right, let's get up here. It's getting close to daytime too, so we need to make it back home quickly. I'm gonna run because I don't think they're gonna see me up here. We got a golden key though. That's gotta be good for what, a treasure chest or a gate? Probably a gate, but look, go back to the castle. They're after you. They're gonna pillage your tukas if you're not back in time. You're like, what? I wouldn't want that at all. So we really want to return, and that was night two. The enemy assault is approaching. We got to get ready. I still have not found, like, any store. This is really unfortunate. We haven't found any scrap. Maybe I can craft a bed. I need at least one bed. So we'll craft one bed. Let's see. Let's check in on our animals. We got to feed them, you know? They're pretty hungry. So we'll give them all the rotten food. <laughs> Sorry, pigs. You know, you get the rotten food. Looks like we're very thirsty. Oh, thanks for giving me your poop. Well, as soon as I set up a garden, though, we will be able to grow things. And these guys are hungry, too. Could give them a vegetable. No, we don't want to give them a vegetable. Feed them that. We got to keep them alive, because if they die, we lose. Oh, gosh. A battle starting, and you see this big red area? That means they're firing catapults. All right, get into the safe zone. You're over here crafting. Okay, so if, if our people were in there, they could get really really injured but luckily the rocks give me rubble uh oh they're gonna hit this house or the wall next to it don't hit my pigs my three little pigs mind you the battle's continuing so those guys are gonna be fighting they're probably gonna get injured uh oh i guess i'm sending them out i i thought the i thought the battle was over despite the fact that it says the battle continues <gasps> what do we get here just we're just getting a lot of rocks get to safety I'm really thirsty. I must run out into harm's way to get potable water. All right, you do you. Go get those eggs, too, while you're at it. All right, so we got what? One, we got one bed. Good. What can I craft? I could craft a torch. There were some bodies that would open up a new area for me. I think we got to do it. Tools could be good. Wait, I have to be able to... Oh, whoa. We shouldn't be able to hit there. That's the safe zone, right? Uh-oh. We have achieved an outright victory. Nobody was wounded, but we did lose two arrows, so we're probably gonna have to craft some more. We could build a dryer. We have the workbench. We could dry our herbs into, I think it's like cloth or something. So we can craft that. So let's craft it over here. That looks like a nice spot. And do we still have time? We probably still have time for some rummaging. And basically we can dry meat. Let's see, the things we could dry is we could dry, we could dry green herbs into fibers. We can dry our vegetables to prolong them. We've got some medicine. Did I want to craft a torch? I did want to craft a torch before nightfall. All right, let's craft one of uh, some dried vegetables. That way when we're hungry, we can eat those later. Craft a torch to go out. Ooh, and it looks like we need some planks in order to craft arrows. What does the Bastion need? We need two arrows. Okay, I kind of need to do that so we can survive another battle. But I need a torch first. And then I'm gonna craft the arrows. All before nighttime, hopefully. Let's craft a singular plank. Although I'll unfortunately craft two. Oh, wow. I can't craft, I need to rest. You'll, you'll rest when you're dead. I mean, you'll rest tonight. Oh, look, we found one plank in the rubble. We'll eat an egg so that she is well. She's got her energy up, water and food for tonight's pillaging and raiding. What do we have, a broken heart? Muriel got sick from an egg? Oh, great. That was smart of me. That was super smart of me. I'm glad I did that. All right, Muriel, we're gonna give you a torch. I kind of want to give you a key, but we'll keep that because I think there's a door and we're not going that. We're gonna try to get into Low Town. And the only thing blocking Low Town is dead moldy bodies. Oh, a shovel, an improvised shovel. Fantastic. So let's clear this obstacle to make way. Let's see, actually, where are we? Oh, that's perfect. Cause I'm gonna clear this barricade and then empty and then get rid of the dead bodies here with my torch. So we're clearing a very good path, giving us more access to the city and more access to resources to help us survive this castle siege. Improvised shovels broken, unfortunate. There's a guard and we just grabbed a bunch of bad water. I don't think he's gonna patrol in here. Are we risking it? Of course we are. We love biscuits. And the only way to get biscuits is to- Yes! Oh no, we need to drop- We'll drop the bad water. I need more scrap. Alright, so we're gonna venture out. Our backpack is full. So we'll use the torch and make up some room. I don't know his patrol though. But we do have hiding spaces. There it is. Okay, good. We'll burn this corpse and get access to Lowtown. Ooh, and there's some vegetables too. And now we just gained access to a new part of the city. 
I'm super pleased with that. And we're about time to head back. I'll search this though real quick. Oh yeah, see more, more bodies blocking this shop. Whoa, 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 don't run. This is dangerous country there, lady. Oh, there's a guard. He just walked by. Muriel, you did excellent. She said her name was Nell. What movie is that from? It's been stuck in my head the last two days. It's Galvik again. He looks even worse. The last fight might have been intense. Yeah. Scouts have seen soldiers of the Sangmar Empire to the south. Who are the Sangmars? We haven't... Oh, yeah. We don't know what they're going to be doing. They're the great unknown. Okay, so they're either going to help us or hurt us. Great. All right, get over there. Grab that. Now you resume your work. We need to check on these guys. Make sure that they're well fed. They're hungry as always. Fodder should keep you just full enough. And I think it's time to craft our fireplace. Yes, this is major key. We'll put that right over here. All right, we'll put the person who's better at crafting on it. Now let's see, what does the Bastion need? They need arrows, right? Yeah, let's actually give the arrows to the Bastion. There we go. There you go. Give them the arrows. They'll be happier. And now we can craft some food. I don't know how to craft fodder though. Well, we've got eggs, so let's craft a meal. Because what happens is our eggs can get nasty in time. We gotta see what else we can craft. Looks like we need a repair workshop. Tools? and some planks. So how do we get some tools? We need a lot of planks. Mario got sick after being soaked in the rain. Oh, you know what? We probably could drink some herbal med. I feel terrible. I hope this helps. Yeah, I hope it does too. Let's check in our little hens. Make sure that they're not hungry. The pigs have been getting a lot of attention. We definitely need something better. We'll give them some of our herbs. Keep them alive. About a little over halfway through our day here. All right, I can make the tools. This guy's hungry and thirsty. Go get some eggs and water after crafting. And then you'll build the repair station. And look at this. Drying takes a while. I wonder if being in sunlight helps it or not. I mean, in real life it would. Drink some water. Eat some eggs. Get over here see what we can't build. There it is. Excellent. Could use a little bit of firewood to make more meals out of these eggs. Now I'm wondering, we only have two people working, but I, I think that we might be able to find more people as we go. Let's actually pick up the eggs and the fertilizer. All right, what can we make? We can repair axes, light armor, and then swords and heavy armor, presumably. Okay, we'll craft two meals if we have the time. You're a little bit hungry. Let's eat an egg. And as the bell tolls, one more night. What does the Bastion need? I guess food will help. Oh, we're in the red here. We need, we need weapons. Armament status is kind of low. Oh wow, we could get ballista parts? Wait, do I have any bricks? Looks like I've got rocks. I've got two rocks, but no bricks. Dang it. We haven't really gathered as much as we could down here, which is nice and close. Oh, this is blinking. Why is it blinking? What's in this one? A shovel. All right, so we're heading down to like the port. Ooh, we've actually found cooked meat. <laughs> Heck yeah, dried meat. I need to find a place to use my shovel. There's like an actual- there it is. On the map, there's like a garden. It's interesting how- I don't know how to get that. What do you mean you don't know how to get that? Oh, I guess these resources are blocking it? Tons of resources. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I don't have a torch, but it looks like there's some good stuff. What's in this? Yeah, there's a ship over here. Ooh, fodder, I want that. We'll have to bring a torch next time and explore more down here at the port. Carcass piece. Yeah. Well, it's almost daytime or rather when it starts to get light and we've explored quite a bit Once more into the breach The enemy assault can come any day one must be prepared. All right, big boy get over there to build Where are you get over here and finish working on that a butcher's table would be good. We don't have one of those yet Oh a composter would also be good. It makes fertilizer, but I don't think we need fertilizer I think we need to upgrade this thing. We need planks, okay. So we're very hungry, a little bit thirsty, slightly sick. He's getting pretty tired though. We need to find a third person to join our merry band of sea survivors. We have no medicine left it says, huh? See about that. All right, let's upgrade it. Before we do that, we need to feed you as well. And you're freaking tired, so you know we go to bed. They're hungry, we'll feed them some fresh fodder. Come over here and collect our eggs. I need a garden. How does one get a garden? Looks like we have survived day five 
So you kind of get the fundamentals of how siege survival works. There's the day and night cycle. You have to be very mindful of resources, many of which you have to simply scavenge in a very hostile area, AKA the besieged town at night. So I want to say a big shout out and thank you to Sea Survival for sponsoring this video. You can check out the game for yourself using the link in the video description below. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video and you do want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.